like a trip to the mall, browsing and looking at details of things we either think we wanted or had no idea we did, is half the fun. Sometimes, even in the Windows Store, we're just browsing. But when we find that app that we absolutely have to have, we need to know how to get it onto our device. Fortunately, this is probably the easiest we've ever been able to install anything on a computer. So completing the shopping experience is just as fun as the shopping itself. To purchase an app, even if it's free, we need to be in the app's listing page. We have found an app that we like, and it's currently displayed on the screen. We've looked over the description, made sure our device meets the requirements, and that we are willing to give the app the permissions that it needs. We may have even perused the reviews to see what others think of it. Now it's time to install it. Thousands of apps are completely free. If the app has a fee, though, we'll see a button that says Buy. This will be on the upper left-hand corner of the Overview page, below the Ratings. In this case, we'll be prompted to enter credit card information, as we'd expect. Unless, or until, we actually make a purchase, the store does not require us to enter any information at all. We can browse to our heart's content and even install free apps. If the app is free, then we'll see a button that says Install, like we see here. Once we give it a click or a tap, it's on its way to being installed, and it will be a very different experience than what we get with traditional software installations. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and click with the mouse, or tap to install. We have to be quick, because these apps are typically very small and nimble. But if we watch the upper right corner, it will tell us that it's installing. And then when it's done, it gives us a message saying that it was installed. If we click on this, it will actually launch the app immediately. That message only displays for a few seconds, and then it goes away. So if you happen to walk away from your computer while it's installing, you may not ever get that formal notification, but it is done. And that's okay. That's it, and literally, that is it. That's all there is to installing a Windows 8 app. I promised it would be easy, and I think I didn't lie to you. It is simple, easy, and fast. We may have noticed that it brought us back to the screen we were looking at before we started the install with the listing page. If we now go back to the right-hand side of the screen in this case, and we tap on You Cook again, we can get back to the listing page, but you'll notice that it says on the left-hand side, You own this app. So it tries to keep track of what you already have installed to help you from getting confused. Let's go ahead and close out of the store completely, and I'll do that by dragging down, getting back to the Start screen, and now I'm going to scroll all the way over to the right-hand side. Because when we install a new Windows 8 app, by default, it makes a tile for it on the rightmost part of our start screen. It, of course, will also show up in our search results as well as our app listing. From here, we can move the tile to another location, we can unpin it completely. That option is ours, but it always installs the tile on the far right side of the start screen initially. With Windows 8 apps and the Windows Store, it is literally just a tap or two to find and install the apps that we want to make our own Windows 8 experience our own.